Uganda Airlines has enjoyed a good load factor for the last three days on its recently launched Entebbe to Dubai route. The airline using the recently acquired Airbus A330-800 new aircraft has been exclusively embraced by Ugandans, who had for long endured long hours on flights operated by foreign airline companies. The State Minister of Transport, Fred Yamukama, while presiding over the official route launch celebrations in Dubai, thanked President Yuri Kaguta Museven and the NRM government for the gains achieved so far by the airline. Biamukam also tasked Ugandans living in Dubai to use the recently launched route to enhance trade between Uganda and the UAE. When His Excellency thought of reviving the Air, Uganda airline, he had sensed it ahead that it will be vital. We come in at a, a time when the majority of Ugandans are doing business in Dubai here. Every corner you take, every step you take, you find a Ugandan there. And uh, that one shows they need travels frequently. Not branching through uh, other countries, you make unnecessary stopovers, direct flights. For example, uh, we have seen here we can export our fruits from Uganda, our crops from Uganda, because Dubai is a desert. They cannot grow these crops, they cannot have them, they can, these, these fruits, even milk here, you cannot get it. So when we have a direct flight, flight from Uganda, people can export their products can buy from the local person, even the local person who paid the tax which the government used to buy the aircraft can benefit. According to Uganda Airlines Acting CEO Jennifer Wamturaki, they have set out to offer Ugandans the best service. We're going to give different cargo rates that are not necessarily low, but cargo rates that will enable them to have value for money. The, the fares we are offering on the route, back and forth between the two routes, will also be value for money. We are not necessarily cheap, but we are offering value for money. She however called for synergies amongst nations in enforcing COVID-19 regulations. How it's done, I believe it could be done differently. It's absolutely an, a hindrance. We had results coming out at the same time for over 200 passengers, and it was a complete mess. Because even they, as a, as a facility, I think are overwhelmed by the numbers. And imagine if we have like six flights leaving at that time and most of them are using the same lab. It's definitely a hindrance. It's, it delays our flights. Uganda is experiencing a trade imbalance with the UAE as exports to the country pale in comparison with what is being imported. Uganda's ambassador to the UAE, Ambassador Zake Kibedi, says their efforts of reversing this have now been boosted. It's because UAE as a country has become the leading market destination for Ugandan products, exports in the Middle East. And globally, it's among the top five destinations for our, our products. And uh, if we can address the issues that are limiting our potential to export more, it can even become the leading market destination for Ugandan products. Uganda Airlines now operates three flights a week to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and also has plans of increasing on this frequency through numerous interventions. Samuel Sendono, UBC News in Dubai.